In this video, we're going to focus on slope, positive and negative slope. What's the difference? A line with a positive slope is a line that goes up. A line with a negative slope is a line that goes down. Now, slope, represented by the symbol m, is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. It's rise over run. In algebra, you've learned it as this formula. You can calculate the slope between two points using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But now let's put some values and some visualization to this. If you travel one unit to the right on a graph and go up one unit, the line that connects these two points will have a slope of one. The angle is 45 degrees. So if you have a line that goes up at an angle of 45 degrees, the slope is gonna be one. Now, if you travel one unit to the right and up two units, you're gonna have a slope of two. If you take the vertical part divided by the horizontal change, that's a ratio of two. The angle that corresponds to that is an angle of 63.4 degrees. If you want to calculate the angle, take the arc tangent of the vertical change and divide it by the horizontal change. That'll give you the angle. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode, by the way. If we travel one unit to the right, and if we go up three units, we're going to have a slope of 3. Arc tangent of 3 over 1, that gives us an angle of 71.6 degrees. If we travel 2 units to the right and only up 1, the slope is 1 over 2. It's a half. The angle that corresponds to this is 26.6 degrees. So notice what happens. As the slope of a line increases, the steepness of that slope increases as well. So that's what it tells you. It tells you how steep is the line. Is it not so steep or is it very steep? So let's say we can put this all together. A horizontal line has a slope of 0. A line that increases at an angle 45 or 45 degrees, that has a slope of 1. If the angle is at 26, that has a slope of 1 half. At an angle of about 63 degrees, we know the slope is 2 and an angle of 71.6 degrees, we know the slope is 3. At an angle of 90 degrees, we have a vertical line. The slope of a vertical line is undefined. We can't put a value to it. Now, if the line is decreasing at 45 degrees below the x-axis, the slope is going to be negative 1. At negative 26.6 degrees, it's negative a half. And it's going to be a reflection of what we have on top. So here the slope is negative 2, and here the slope is negative 3. So anytime you have a line that is going up, if the graph is increasing, the slope is going to be positive. If you have a line going down, or if the graph or the function is decreasing, the slope is negative. And if you have any horizontal line, or the function is neither increasing or decreasing, if it's constant in value, then the slope is zero. So hopefully that gave you a good idea into the concept of positive and negative slope. So just to review, remember, the slope is the change in y over the change in x. It's the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. 
If the vertical change is positive, the slope will be positive. If the vertical change is negative, the slope will be negative.